All right, welcome back. MJ Sedlock is joining us uh, to talk about the upcoming Orno Arts Fest. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you for having me. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, this event, which begins tomorrow. Yeah, so uh, the event is going to happen all weekend long, three days, uh, starting tomorrow evening and then on Saturday all day and on Sunday up until about 5 p.m. as well. Uh, we're going to have music events, um, some theatrical performances, a kids day full of lots of activities and an artist market on Sunday as well. And each day we'll have sort of one signature event that is going to highlight maybe some of the much the many uh, enjoyable things that will happen. Yeah, so on Friday night uh, in the Orono Performing Arts Center, which is a brand new beautiful space at the Orono High School, um, we're going to have an event called the Halcyon Spring, excuse me, Halcyon String Quartet. Um, they're going to do a musical retelling of Make Way for Ducklings. Oh, lovely. Uh, so they'll have digitized imagery from the book and a storyteller uh, telling a dram dramatization of the story as well as music to accompany it. And then in that same space on Saturday, there'll be a performance by Bangor's improv troupe, The Focus Group. Mm -hmm. uh, that's an a, a performance appropriate for teens and adults. And then on Sunday, we have a really unique uh, juggling show that combines electronic DJ music with a light show and projections and a whole juggling act. It's really a cool set of events. How did this come to be? I know that there's been maybe versions of something like this, but this is the, the inaugural event in this version for Orono this year, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, there was a previous event in Orono called Arts of Palooza that had run for about 13 years, and that was produced by a nonprofit called Stillwater Community arts. That nonprofit earlier this year uh, told the town of Orono that they were planning to disband and not do the event anymore and asked that if the town went forward that they retire the name Arts of Palooza. And so the town council deliberated and decided ultimately to put some money forward and uh, ask for proposals from uh, folks to produce a new version of the festival. And ultimately I put forward a proposal and it was accepted and that's how this, this came to be. Why is this something you wanted to get behind? Uh, well, I work at the university in the School of Performing Arts as the technical director and production manager for the theater department. And so I just love performing arts. I'm really p passionate about um, the arts in general and bringing them into communities where uh, people don't have to travel a long way or pay a lot of money in order to experience them. Um, a couple other things. Uh, I see the word free listed in here quite frequently, right? So, yeah. you know, maybe there'll be some things that uh, to maybe try and beat the heat. You could maybe purchase uh, along the way, but the events themselves are free. So the three signature events have a ticket price associated with them. The ones that I, I just described, those are uh, $15 for adults or $5 for kids for the quartet and the juggling act. And then yep. the um, improv group is $10 for all tickets. Um, but everything else is free. All of our kids day activities, um, there's another circus performer and a music act that are happening outdoors on Saturday as part of that. Um, coming into the artist market as customer is free. Um, we have six concerts on Friday and Saturday nights. And those are all free. All around at different various restaurants and establishments in Orono. Uh, so, so most of the activities are free and then we just have a couple um, ticketed events. And then if uh, you're worried about beating the heat, those signature events uh, do come with some AC. Yes, those are indoor events uh, at this beautiful performing arts center, brand new facility. And so they're a perfect place to go if you're looking to escape uh, the, the heat that's expected this weekend. Anything else that people should be aware of? Uh, I think just to know that it's a really unique set of events. It's going to be a great time, and they're um, they're really the the focus of the programming was to connect some really unique artists that are all uh, originally from Maine. They're all Maine-based artists with uh, some really great local communities. And you know, just the importance of exposing anybody, but you know, youngsters to art, different kinds of art. Yes, exactly. Um, all, all, all of the uh, programming is uh, family friendly uh, with the exception of, I guess, I mean, I would say that the uh, improv group is still appropriate for 13 plus. Um, so really aiming at a teen demographic there, but everything else is uh, good for all ages. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's yeah, uh, so ornoartsfest.com if you want to learn more about it. And it begins tomorrow and runs through Sunday. As we mentioned, if you're trying to beat the heat, there will be some events with some nice air conditioning.